Hi guys, so we're back with another vlog. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I don't know if under the weather is the right description, but I'm feeling quite sick actually. Um, I'm sure you guys can hear from my voice. I don't know what is going on. I feel very fluy. I feel very congested. I've also had a headache for like the past couple of days, like a constant headache, um, more so on the front of my face. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like it's coming from here, to be honest. It, I think it might be like a sinus headache. I don't know, but I'm feeling a lot of pressure around this part of my face. So yeah, guys, I think it's cute. Nothing is cute at all. Um, let me actually sit down and talk to you guys. But yeah, it's a very weird feeling. I'm also feeling very hot. I'm feeling quite flustered. I don't know if this is my body telling me that I need to like slow down. But yeah, I've been taking some medication and hopefully I'll feel better in the next couple of days. The thing that's stressing me the most is the work does not stop. Like work doesn't stop. I have a brief for my nine to five job that I have to be done with by Friday. I also have an upcoming campaign, quite an exciting one. There's just so much, there's just so much. And it really got me thinking that I'm really not the type of person that finds it easy taking a break and actually pausing work while I'm sick. It's such a terrible trait and I really hate what capitalism has done. Like it's just so hard for me to focus 100% on getting better. It's actually worse when um, I can physically move, right? Like I can physically move, um, I can use my mind, you know, I might be tired, I might be congested, I might be irritable, I might not be feeling the most comfortable, you know, I might be experiencing some discomfort, I might have a headache, but I still feel like I can get through some work which is terrible. I end up working while I'm sick and then it just prolongs my recovery. And it's not cute, honestly, that's very unhealthy. And I'm really, you know, trying to rid myself of that and focus on my health because if I'm not better, I can't do all of the things that I want to do, basically. I'm gonna try to take it easy today. I'm gonna monitor myself and see how I feel. Um, I might just do light work here and there, but nothing too hectic. I also want to cook as well, like I need to cook um, and actually make something that I can have leftovers for for the next couple of days. So maybe I'll make like a lentil curry um, and some rice. But yeah, I think that's also a part of it as well. Like I haven't been eating properly. So I think that's also another reason why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. So I think I just want to get, you know, nutrients in my body. I'm going to make myself a green smoothie now, just to start off my day, take my medication. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon.
Hey guys, so it's the next day. I was planning on catching up with you guys last night after I got done with work, but load shedding came. Load shedding is back. Yo. So I wasn't able to chat to you guys, but yeah, after I worked, I literally, what did I do? I think I was in bed by eight, either eight or half past eight. Um, so I slept quite early last night, so I got a good night's sleep, which is great. So this morning, I went to go run an errand. So I was at Sandton City and I'm working with a brand. So I had to go pick up some products to shoot some content. Guys, the campaigns are just coming. The campaigns just keep on coming and I'm so grateful. It's so crazy because at the top of the year, that was one of my goals this year was to get more brand campaigns, you know, to do more content work and it's happening and I'm really grateful for that. So I have a brand campaign coming up for next week, which is great. So yeah, I went to go get some products and then I thought, let me just peruse in H&M and I ended up getting one or two things. So I'm going to show you guys what I got, but I don't know if I've spoken to you guys about this. I'm sure I've mentioned it in a previous vlog, but for the past couple of months, I've been really thinking about like creating a capsule wardrobe, I'm refining my style, getting rid of, you know, a lot of my clothes, just because I feel like, you know, when I look at my wardrobe, I don't feel like it's a true representation of my true style. And I'm just not happy with my clothes, to be very honest with you. I'm really not happy. Um, I find that, like, I don't have the most simple items. They're perfectly tailored black pants, an oversized crisp shirt. I don't have, like, those basic items. Um, that I feel like, you know, are the foundation of a wardrobe and then you can build on top of them to create, you know, a multiple, like, to create multiple different looks. So that's what I've been really thinking about for the last um, couple of months. And I was like, you know what, let me actually start doing this, start slowly building out my capsule collection, uh, my capsule wardrobe, I mean, <laughs> not a collection, I'm not doing a collection. Um, so yeah, building out my capsule wardrobe, I wrote down a list of like items um, that I would need. So things like, you know, formal pants in different colors, um, you know, a couple of shirts or so maybe like white, black and like a beige shirt. So that's like what I've been thinking. And I actually, I've been putting this off for so long, but I need to create a Yaga store. I need to get my clothing on Yaga because... As I said, I think I want to get rid of close to 90% of my wardrobe. You know, some of the things I'm going to sell, some of the stuff I'm going to give away, some of the things I'm going to give away for charity. I don't know what to do with the clothes that aren't good enough to be worn. Like, I don't want to give anyone, like, torn clothing or anything. But, like, how do you discard of that? Like, what is the most sustainable way to get rid of those items? I really don't know. I think I actually need to find out because... I have quite a bit of items that are either stained or they're quite old so they're torn and they're just not in good condition they need to go they need to go i also have too much stuff there's too much stuff in here that i'm not even wearing that i don't even like to be honest and also guys i'm growing up okay i'm 30 this year i'm feeling like this transition vibe i don't know what it is but i feel like i'm really entering or i am entering um into a very transitory stage in my life so I feel like I need to shed. I need to shed the old. And this has been weighing on me for months. So it's time for me to purge. Um, but anyway, I'm talking a lot. Let me just show you guys what I got. So I would have gotten more things. But that wasn't the purpose of the trip. Um, I didn't want to waste time shopping. So I think I'm going to dedicate a day. Maybe I'll go on Saturday. I don't know if I'm not busy. I might go shopping on Saturday or next week. Enough rambling. Let me show you guys what I got. So I just got this cute knit. Let me actually take it back. So I got this cute knit jersey. Let me actually just throw it on quickly. It's not too chunky, but it's still warm nonetheless. It's quite cute. It's actually quite cute. I like how it fits. 
um, and I can throw on, you know, those chilly days. Maybe like have like a turtleneck on or like a vest or even nothing really. But yeah, quite a cute knit. Oh, and then I also got this like bag. I've been wanting these bags. So I got like this net bag. I think it's cute also for content. It's going to come in handy. Um, but yeah, I think when I'm, you know, going to get some produce at the grocery store, um, when I don't want to carry around like a big bag and I'm not carrying much stuff, um, I can use this bag also for the beach as well. I don't know where because there's no beach in Joburg, but I don't know. I mean, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I thought this was quite cute. And I know I'm going to need this one day for content. Then I got this classic white shirt. It's longer length. Oh, I really love it on. It's so nice on, guys. It's quite... You know what? Let me actually put it on for you guys. It's just a really great boyfriend shirt. I like the size. I like the fit of it. It's quite cool. I like how big the arms are so I'll just wear it like this with like a pair of pants you know maybe a jeans also but yeah I've been needing a white shirt that fits like this I have another one but um it's quite it's quite tight and I don't like the fit of it so I want it I have a similar black one I have a black one like this which I love I live in that it's so me so I was like, you know what, let me get a white one. So yeah, I love it. Just a, just a nice, plain old, crisp white shirt. Uh, and, then, and then, and then I just got a pack of panties. I saw these as I was uh, waiting in line. Yo guys, you see that aisle? You see that H&M aisle? I'm finding it so hard to just you know look in front of me and not you know see what's on the side um so i picked up these i think these are quite nice because they don't have you see here i like how well it's not necessarily seamless but it is like quite thin it's not a thick band so i just got a couple of these i also like the colors as well these are so my colors. I love earthy colors. So I just got a pack of panties. You can never have too many panties, to be honest. So yeah. That's it. So I'm on the hunt for... Um, oh, this shirt looks so nice. Ooh, guys, can you imagine the shirt like this, right? Opened with like gold jewelry, gold earrings, and zazz. <laughs> I'm gonna look so nice. Anyway um now i need pants i need some nice good quality pants as i said maybe i must also go thrifting for that and you know what i think i also need to be okay with buying big pants because the way my shape is it's very hard for me to find like perfectly fitted pants so i think when i do find a good quality pants i need to just buy it and then go tailor it um i need i've been on the hunt for like the classic leather jacket i still don't have like a classic leather jacket i do have another one but it's quite like big and oversized i want like the classic one and then i also want a longer length one that like comes down to my ankle i bought lunch so i got uh pizza not pizza i got pasta from dopio i'm gonna warm that up now and have that and then get back to work i also got a what is this called tropic thunder smoothie so it has mango yogurt turmeric and something else i don't know but it's so good it's almost finished it's so refreshing the turmeric is quite pungent like you can taste the turmeric in this which i don't have a problem with because it just makes me feel healthy there's this video what's that girl's name there was this girl who did I don't know if she still does it, but she does ASMR and she goes ah, I feel so healthy <laughs> It's reminding me of that I feel so healthy 
I feel so healthy if I have a smoothie either with turmeric or ginger. Like if I can taste turmeric or ginger in my smoothie, I know that I'm doing the things that need to be done for my health. I got the seafood pasta from Dopio. This is technically a tomato based pasta, but I asked them to please change it to um, a creamy pasta. So they just put some cream for me. I don't know, like I really love a cream pasta. Not saying that I hate a tomato based pasta, but yeah, no, I just prefer a creamy pasta. I feel like the tomato pastas tend to be quite tangy and acidic. So let me just actually warm this up. I'm outside in a AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown, I and it die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in a AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Caught a shorty off a famous star Just the one on the video, it's a great shot Waited, I've been living on conventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to bone Rather see my heart turn crystal so just a haul for you guys i got some wild rockets bananas always a staple i buy bananas like every week i was craving some fudge so i thought let me get let me not lie i wasn't craving fudge i just was craving something sweet so i thought let me just see what woolies has to offer so then I saw the fudge and I was like, ooh, fudge, we're lost. So I decided to get this fudge. And I'm not going to lie, guys, all of this for 40 Rand, it's quite cheap. If I think about like those dessert, like pop-up small stores that like sell um, all these different like sweets and chocolates and stuff, I feel like you get literally this much or even this much, like four blocks for 40 Rand. So this is quite a lot and it's quite thick also. This one lost me like i'm someone who takes a very long time to finish snacks um my friends know me especially my colleagues they know that like i keep things for so long so this is probably gonna take me like i don't know like three weeks to finish so and then i got um some soup i wanted to try out the soup and then i also got this moroccan chicken moroccan chickpea and mediterranean Moroccan chickpea and chicken uh, soup. This looks good. This looks yummy. So yeah, and I also feel like this is gonna come in handy, you know, on those days when I actually don't want to cook. I can just throw this in a pot, heat it up, and then Bob's your uncle got some lemons because I wanna start incorporating lemons into my uh, green smoothies. And then I got bagels, guys. This has been such a great purchase for me as of late. So what I've been doing is freezing the bagels and then taking them out when I want to. So like if I want to make sandwiches, if I just want to have like a quick, easy snack, I'll just do bagels and cream cheese. It's honestly been saving me. And then I bought some sweets that are already open. They are the jelly snakes. And then I just got some frozen fruits. I got these mixed berries guys i'm on the hunt for like a big bag of frozen fruits i'm so tired of doing this i think i was actually go to the farmer's market and get all my fruits and just make my own um frozen fruits because i've been doing that with the uh, pineapple anyway and then i got this big bag of spinach oh and then i also got cocoa pops guys which is so unlike me but i was like you know what i'm wishing for cocoa pops it's reminding me of my childhood i was like you know what let me get cocoa pops and then I got this one liter coconut water. I use this for my smoothies. And then I just got two packs of cotton pads uh, for my face. 
And then I got salmon ribbons because I'm going to have this with um, my bagel. And I just got some orange juice. I've already drank some. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so not me thinking that this was a big pack. I don't know why I do this all the time. I didn't take the amount of this into account, so I just bought it. Because on this side, it looks like the full size. This always happens to me. So I definitely thought these were bigger than this, but it's fine. I'll just have to buy the bigger size. I got bone broth because it's all over TikTok and I've never had it before. So I thought, hmm, okay, let me introduce it into my routine. It's a great source of protein and it's good for your gut. So I'm gonna have um, some beef broth in the morning. And then I got the Chuckles chocolate. I've never had it before, so I thought, let me try it out. And as I said, I have a sweet tooth currently, so... I was like, let me get some chocolate, and then get some sweet, and get some fudge. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else. Guys, there's a show I'm watching on Netflix. It's called Manifest. There's just too much going on. It's the perfect show to binge. It's giving SABC3. I'm not gonna lie. It's giving Designated Survivor. <laughs> but it's still it's great nonetheless. On episode, I'm on like episode 30 now, on season one. It's so good. Like it honestly is just sucking me in. So I have something to binge and I'm also looking for some K-dramas. The last K-drama I watched, what was it? What's that one with that married lady? The one with that hectic husband? What? what? Why did I get married? What? Something about marriage. Something about marriage. You guys know exactly which one I'm talking about because it was trending on social media. Something about... Why am I... Why am I married? Yo, it's gonna worry me now. Actually, let me look it up. The world of the married. Yo, guys, that show, ooh! <laughs> you know when you think things cannot get any more worse? They get worse. It's so crazy how every episode is just like more hectic than the next. I think what, what really told me that that show is just on another level was, you know how with other shows, they'll usually leave like this big bomb for like the end of the show? That show, they were dropping bombs in the middle. Like the first five minutes of the show, a bomb is dropped. That's how I knew, okay, you see this one. Here they for mess. They are for mess. Because how are they big bombs five minutes into the show? So yeah, there was a the last K-drama I watched. I do want to get into more K-dramas, but I find that a lot of the time when I'm watching series, I'm doing other stuff. So I like to put on something while I'm cooking. Um, or, or like doing something else, but with K-dramas, I have to actually sit and watch properly because of the subtitles. So I haven't actually had a chance to just sit and actually watch one. But if you guys have any recommendations on K-dramas, please let me know in the comments below. What else am I watching? So I'm watching Manifest. I'm watching Belle. That's also nice. It's an easy watch. I'm watching Belle. I'm watching Severance on Apple TV. Guys, Apple TV has some good shows. It's quality over quantity there. They have really good shows, beautifully shot shows. So I'm watching that. Please leave me some recommendations. I need new shows. <laughs> Don't do it.
Thank you.